just like us who didn't get an opportunity to invest in a franchise early who are spending time and money to sell homes building someone else's saleable asset how do we grow a business but still build wealth have an extra strategy and get a piece of the pie that's not dependent on us working more hours in every weekend that is the question and this podcast will give you the answer my name is jay kinder my name is al stasic and i'm michael reese we are your hosts and welcome to the one big fire podcast What's happening, everybody? It's Nick Good in the house today. What's going on at the Good Home Team? I know y'all just selling a bunch of real estate. That's all. It's going, man. It's we are, yeah. It's it's we're rocking and rolling. So we're we're thankful. We're thankful to be as busy as we we are now. Considering back in March, we're like, all right, what's going on? Right, right. Yeah, I think everybody had that 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 fear. So, man, this is your um, you know, your twelve month. Are we coming up on twelve months? Is it this month? No, uh, July 17th. So I wanted to wait, you know, wait a little bit just to get our official numbers in. So July 17th was my official 12 month anniversary. Okay. So 12 months at EXP, you know, obviously uh, the question is, especially with a business as big as yours is how to, how do things pan out the first year you make a transition? It can always be a challenge. It can always slow things down. It can always create, you know, turmoil within the team. So what's, what's the story? How, how's your business done? Um, you know, on that 12 month anniversary. So that was that was that that big myth that everyone had told us. We go, we we leave, we go to EXP. Your business is going to go down. No one's going to keep talking to us. Blah blah blah. Right. So I will say that here's the thing. I mean, our business is up. We're, we're tracking and we're trending ahead of numbers. We're up this year. We're up 27 percent in new sellers. Right. New listings taken. And and I'm going to tell you right now in the Dallas Fort Worth area, we're sitting on just about two months of inventory. So the inventory levels have fallen um, close to 40%, somewhere in that 30, 35% range. So, you know, while inventory levels were decreasing, we were taking more market share, we were taking more listings. And I will say that um, I, w- I was talking to an agent yesterday um, um, uh, in another state and he, and he said, was this a valuable partnership for you? And I said, absolutely. And I said, it was because of our people that we aligned with that we were learning, we were implementing some tips and strategies to help us take more listings. We've 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 changed our even our scripting process. You know the the uh, National Association of Expert Advisors training that's been huge, man. Right, right, yeah, and that's that's part of uh, part of it. Obviously, you've been executing, and you know, stay you stay focused on the strategy. What are all the ways to grow the business? What's the you know what are you know, and when you're part of a network of a lot of great agents that are doing all different things to grow their business, you're going to pick up some of those ideas along the way. And so, yeah, man, that's awesome, man. That's and so what's been the temperament of the team? You know, you know, that's another, you know, another, um, you know, question mark or um, probably a myth, I think is probably how we would put it. But it is, you know, are, is it your team is going to lose focus and not be making sales? How what, what is what's their temperament? How how have they increased in, in, in their business? And, and what have they what is their experience? What would you say they would say? So I've uh, I've seen a growth in just their not just their business but their mindset right they're now thinking you know they're wanting to grow their own book of business they're wanting to bring different streams of income right we they are attracting team members they're out there looking for agents to join our team again when I was at Keller Williams that never happened right, right? that was that was myself and or the team leader that we had Elizabeth Austin um, we were the out having to having to attract agents to the good home team now we've got an entire group that is doing that. Um, right. And and their business is up. I'll give you an example. Elizabeth Austin's business in July alone, she closed 20 transactions for a little above $7 million in production. Oh, 20 deals in one month? 20 deals She's, in one month. That's incredible. Wow, so, man. Yeah. So I can tell you right now, we've got, a, we've got you know, David Bittnick, he's on the phone right now. Arthur, Nate Fisher joined us. Um, he came from Century, tw- Century 21, 21 year old. I mean, he's killing it. He has 10 deals under contract right now. Right. So um, uh, we have seen just an increase in, in these our agents, our team members being business, more business minded and mm. just being, you know, you know, wanting to go into that. Also, that that personal development stage to, to yeah. become better. Yeah. Yeah. I've, I've noticed that if there was one thing I would say that I've noticed just for their team is because I've spent a lot more time you know, on calls or in different things that they're, that they're doing that's around personal growth and development, which man, you just can't, you you know, you can't ask for anything more than that, right? If they're personally growing every day, um, you're changing their lives, they're changing other people's lives. I mean, everybody's winning. So super cool to hear, man. I love to see that. So what, what do you, what do you feel like the, the, um, what, what do you feel like some of the biggest, you know, you know, if you were to say, okay, this was the thing I didn't see coming, or this was the thing that, that was the most, um, 
you know, the, the, the biggest change that our team had or that, that we're having that I didn't expect? Was there anything that you didn't expect? Um, I, I mean, the, the biggest thing was, was without, without having that true brick and mortar, you know, I thought we would lose a little bit of that, that culture feel from the brokerage side. And that's not the case at all. I will tell you that, that one, you know, of course, when March hit and, and the pandemic started, you know, our, you know, EXP really started thriving anyway during that time, right? Everyone started saying, hey, you know, we don't need that brick and mortar space. But I mean, from, from you know, here in Texas, our, our brokers, the, the amount of support that we get, I'm going to tell you right now, I, I had a question today about a deal that I'm doing and, and just through Facebook Workplace had, had a question for our, our managing broker, uh, five minutes five minutes response time. Right. Right. Um, um, we, uh, you know, if I have another, another question that I need to log into the HP world again, it's all staffed hours. So I know that somebody's there, right. They're not, if someone's out on vacation, someone else is picking it up. So what I was really, sh- you know, really shocked by was the, the availability of support here. Right. That, that makes sense, man. That's it's, it's one of the things that you can't, you don't really know until you're, you're in that situation enough times to say, okay, does this process work? Is this this virtual environment work? Is there someone available? Am I going to feel like I can go to somebody, or do I feel like I'm on an island? And and I would agree with you. That's that's one of the things that I hear the most. That that usually after you know after a short period of time you're here and you're plugged in, then you you realize that man the, the support here is 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 way this is a way better way. No different than Amazon is a way better way of ordering stuff instead of driving around town and trying to pick stuff up. Going into a real estate office to get answers to questions is not is not near as efficient as having EXP in the world and the virtual environment and the way that we communicate. So that's cool, man. I love it. So what else? What else would you say? I mean, obviously, there's the conversation around you know rev share. Is that a real opportunity or not? What's your group size looking like? Is that has that been something meaningful uh, compared to what you were you know getting before with you know uh, you know KW's profit share? Honor. I mean, look from from right now just. From my previous business model with with us being at Keller Williams, we were expanding, right? The expansion model is not very profitable, right? There, there's the there the few yeah. exceptions out there, but I will say that that we are running in a, a profitable expansion model now, just be, being able to partner with you know 157 plus agents across 18 states right now. And I'll say right. that it's it's beneficial for those agents, right? It's beneficial for us as as the revenue share group. Um, um, you know, this rev share, this revenue share check alone, um, let me just put it this way. It pays for a nice lake house, right? <laughs> right. right? Yeah. Um, yeah. you know, it's, it's, if you look at it, it's, it's, you know, a, a salary that, that everyone would not turn down. Right. Um, so look, it's, it's, we're definitely ahead of schedule. It's definitely been, been, um, you know, it's cool to see our agents growing within this platform and going and, and utilizing the tools uh, that EXP has. I mean, KV Core, we brought over a gentleman um, uh, who partnered with us here locally. His business is already on pace to double. He's on, he's 90 days in, um, right. you, you know, and, and he's he's forecasting to do double, which will be about 10 million. And a lot of it, he's raving on KV Core, right? He's like, right. He has clients, past past people that have been ghosting him, now reaching out to him because of what KV Core is doing. It's a, you know, the 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 CRM technology system is working. Um, right. We're we're seeing agents reaching out to to people like yourself, Michael Reese. You know, you know, utilizing the new funnel construction, uh, right. the, the new home funnel uh, right. program that we have. I mean, <laughs> yeah. there, there's a lot of stuff going on here that that it's, it's just huge. I mean, the, I'm going to tell you right now, we were talking, we were talking before we went live. The only regret I have <laughs> and is I did not participate in the, the discounted stock option, right? I was like, all right, let me get my feet wet. We came over in July. We, I think that week last year in 2019, we took two, 10 listings that, that week that we made the transfer over from Keller Williams to EXP. So I was like, uh, let me just get my feet wet. And I missed it. And, and, what I will say, I, I, I would be sitting on several hundred thousands of dollars in stock <laughs> right now. Right. But um, I, I do have, you know, close to fifty thousand dollars. Right. Right. And, which, and which, what, which I mean, look, I didn't have that before. Right. Exactly. That's just another notch in the belt. Another another revenue stream and asset for you that, that didn't exist before. Hundred percent. Yeah. I mean. I mean, we're, I'm not going to turn that down. I didn't have that before. You didn't have that when you were, uh-uh. you know, Cobalt Banker. Nope. My, my other guys are sitting at 
four, five, six thousand dollars when they are at Century Twenty One, the other places, and and you know they're they're super happy and and wanting to make sure that that you know the company does well and our, our stocks you know stock prices continue to to increase. Right. Yeah. It's uh, it's um. So is it is it everything that you thought it would be? Where, where's where's been where have you been let down, man? There's got to be something. And you're you're probably one of the realest people that I could ask that question. So I have to ask it. In, <laughs> I got to be careful when I ask ask that question. But but yeah, what I mean, what has has there been anything that's been a letdown out of all, out of everything you've experienced? I mean, not there's not. I mean, and and that sounds like it sounds too good to be true. But I have not. I was coming in with with you know with being let down on support. Like, all right, I'm gonna, you know, I'm gonna be out on my own and et cetera. So I was already prepared, preparing for the worst, right? Right, right. You know, when I walk into rooms, I'm already looking for, for my exit strategies anyway. Right. So, you know, it, that's what I was already looking at when we made that move over is like, all right, what, what's my exit strategy? What am I prepared? I'm preparing for the worst and hoping for the best. And and I was prepared, all right, there wasn't gonna be the support. And, and that's just not the case. So I have yet to be let down on any of it. There's not been anything that that has st stood out that, again, that I would sit here and be negative about. It just right. I, I wish there was to make this sound right. more, know, more right. real. Yeah. Yeah. But, um, you know, I, I was talking to another agent last week. And I said, you know, I looked at going independent. I looked at staying where I was and opening a franchise with that company and an EXP model and independent just didn't make any sense. I'm, I'm pigeon. I'm pigeonholed into right. just being right there in that in that marketplace. Right. Right. And and here this allows us to to grow and allows us to make an impact all across the globe. And and now what we're in, we're in eight. We're soon to be in eight total countries. Right. Yep. I mean, how cool is that going to be? I mean, that's uh, yeah, we're we're, we're uh, full throttle ahead in international waters. That's that's new for me. So I'm, I'm excited to see how that goes. And, um, you know, yeah, there's it's it's a realistic expectation that we could all have partners in, in any country, too. So um, looking forward to, to the future there and how that works. What what I mean, what do you think? I mean, with where you're sitting now, what do you feel like your opportunity is? What do you see? How do you see your team, your business um, differently over the next five years now that you've been in it a year? Is it what, what is, is the trajectory the same or is something different? Have you Are you thinking about it, things di any differently? So, so there, my agents, my agents opportunity and growth and growth plan has changed, right? You know, it, we now have a true, true model to be able to have a team within the team, right? Yeah. Where before you just didn't have it. I mean, with commission splits and everything else, there just, there wasn't room in there, right? right. You, you had to, you had to move into leadership roles and, and here you don't have to do that, right? Right. If you, if you don't want to lead and you just want to sell, but you can still build out that team by, you know, that team concept. By by being able to to help better impact a, a newer agent's career by showing them your sales ability and your sales skill your, your sales skills and showing them how to lead generate even better but now you don't have to hold them accountable right, right? so so it, it's the, what has changed has been the path for our agents to continue to grow right? right for for us the good home team it's still all about taking market share in the Dallas Fort Worth area it's about right. making sure that. You know, we, we call it the path to 100 million. It's, it's you know, getting to that $100 million path, hitting that goal. In, in our network alone of, of agents, the goal is to get to to, to hit that thousand agent barrier and then right. and then ultimately 5,000 agents and then grow it, grow it across international waters. Right. Absolutely, man. It's uh, it definitely is, uh, it is. Are you having fun? A lot of fun. Yeah. But I'm, I'm going to tell you, I check this app every day. You told me right. I would. I, I, I look at it every day. I'm, I'm masterminding with people in our group. You know, Tim Grubbs, you know, him and I do, you know, twice a week calls to make sure, you know, what can we do better? Where, where can we provide more value? You know, Chauncey Pham, you know, I get to partner and, and be a part of Chauncey Pham's world. And let right. me tell you, she is absolutely a, a beast when it comes to <laughs> when it comes to helping agents, you know, grow their book of business here at EXP. Right. And and you know I get to have that impact, and that you do you know, you as well get to have that impact on helping her and and grow her book of business. I mean, who? Why wouldn't it be fun? Right, right. It's a it's a it's a lot more fulfilling. There's a lot more opportunity for everybody. Everybody wins together. Um, and yeah, man, it's it is. It's a, it's been the most fun I've had in three years, and it's it's just getting better. So. Yeah, man. What, what what would you say? You know, if if you know if there was someone out there that's this watching this, saying, "Man, I've been sitting on the fence," you know, about this opportunity um, to partner, you know, with the Good Home Team and join EXP. What would you tell that person to do? To do it. Don't don't be like me. And first of all, don't be like me and wait on the stock. Right. <laughs> I'm, I'm kicking myself every day. I was talking to my brother and my wife this weekend at the lake house, and I'm like, 
And and my brother's just shaking his head, right? He's like, man, we, we yeah, you missed it. You missed it. But there's still plenty of there's still plenty of runway left. Oh, yeah. Right? So here's the thing. Number one is is come join us. Let us show you how to sell more houses. Let's just go and build a profitable business first and then look at how to run it like a business. Right. Mm -hmm. You know, what do you you know, you guys teach it best. You've got you've got a, a, a course called Agent to CEO. Right. Guys, you get to be a part of this. So if you're sitting on the sidelines, don't be like these don't be like these renters right now that are missing out on these amazing, amazing low interest rates. Right. Get off that fence. Get out. Of, you know, stop running. Go buy and, 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 you know, stop staying at that high cost brokerage with very little value there where you're not being able to build wealth and in, in other income streams. Come join us. See what it's all about. And and like some of like some of my other mentors said, you know, Brent Gove says it best. Look, if it doesn't work. Guess what? You can just leave and go back to where you were. Right. Test this out. Let's see, let's see what happens. Right. Right. Absolutely. I agree with that. And what's the best way for people to reach out to you, Nick? Go to nickgood.work. I'll leave it in the comments after this. So nickgood.work, or you can find me at thegoodhometeam.com. You got it, man. As always, it's a pleasure. And I was looking forward to this, this conversation and see where things were and, you know, year end and um, looking forward to the future and continue to grow this thing together, buddy. Yes, sir, brother. I appreciate All you. All right. Yep. Be good. Okay.